Welcome back for another repair video on Got Hockey. Today we're doing the finger side of the perimeter lace. Got a glove here with a um, torn lace and uh, tricky to see here, but quite a lot of wear all the way down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull all of this lace out. Just using the needle nose pliers, just makes things a little bit easier. You can get underneath and then just pull it out. It's, it's much better than just using your fingers. So we're going to go back pretty far here. I'm going to take this right to the T and we're going to go basically right to the end of the finger side uh, on, the, on the palm side. There's no sense in only doing a small repair when there's a lot of damaged lace so we're just going to we're just going to eliminate all of this all of this excess here. I'm going to take it right up into the T so we've got lots of lace to hold on to. And then we'll work our way down in the opposite direction and we'll go uh, almost almost to the cuff. There you go, so now we've reached where it goes around the T and then I believe this next loop, this next loop actually goes right through the T. There's a hole right there where it goes through. And remember there's parts where we go around the fingers and then once you get to the T, you start going sort of an in and out uh, because you have, to, you have to go right through the T. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave this lace right where it comes through the T, the, the last one that goes through, and then we'll run our new lace back through that hole in the opposite direction uh, so we have those we have those two start finish points. I'm just gonna knot this off. I, I, I doubt it'll come out or, or, or be pulled through anymore, but just in case it's got a knot in it, it'll never pass through that hole. And jumping ahead, we've taken the lace out in the opposite direction. Again, going basically right down to where the break uh, goes to the very end of the palm. And it's needle time. So we've got that last lace coming through. So we're just gonna start as though that lace was still continuing on. So again, knotted off the, the end there. So all we have to do is just leave that as it is. Now on this glove, the knuckle pad has some uh, lace going through it that's actually being held in place by the perimeter lace. So we're gonna keep going. Uh, we're just gonna tuck through there before we go through before we go through the uh, the finger side and then the palm side. So once you've got your start, it's pretty easy to follow the pattern. And actually, if you can see uh, on the bindings, you can see where the old lace was resting. There's a there's a bit of an imprint there, and and it's uh, it's it's basically going to be the only clean spot left on the glove because of the puck marks and just you know, other dirt and that that gets on the glove over time. So um, one thing when you're doing this your first couple of times, maybe you can just almost use those um, those little um, spots or those little trails uh, as a bit of a guide. So again, through the lace on the knuckle pad and through the back and out through the front. And again, so here we're going around and around. We're sort of doing like a coil. And uh, yeah, try not to get tied up on your, on your lace there. So I'm not completely pulling this tight yet because I'm still working with the glove. Uh, I need to make sure I can get in and open things up. And there's the last lace that we're going through, or the last loop from that knuckle pad that we're going through. So just get it through there. Now, not every glove uh, integrates the knuckle pad with uh, with the lacing, so it's, it's very few that'll have it. 
And once you're free of that, you don't have uh, quite nearly as much to do, and it just makes, uh, makes the rest of it that much easier. One less step to follow. All right, so now we're getting up closer to where the T is. First go around, there's there's no hole through the T here, so what we're gonna do is just continue on. And we're gonna make sure that we're running the lace over top of the T, because that's just holding it down, holding it in place. Perfect, line everything up. And there's our hole that we're going through the T. And really, what you wanna do is just kinda of take your time. Make sure that all the pieces are lined up. Make sure you're all your laces, you're going through the right places, you're not skipping anywhere. Uh, you're not running um, one hole ahead. And again, we're through the T now. As we come out the other side, so we're not gonna go around, so we're gonna go uh, straight back through the front of the glove. Here's a look here where we're gonna go. Right into there. And again, you can even see the little spot there where the where the old lace was, the only spot without a puck mark. And again, this is a little bit tricky here. This is where the old lace is coming out. So this is where we're ending the old lace. And on the opposite side is where we're gonna end the new lace. But sometimes these holes are not very big, so it's a little bit tricky. And again, just take your time. And then the moment of truth, is that lace going to hold inside your needle when you finally pull it through? Got it. All right, so now that's pretty much done. We've got all the lace we need, and now we're going to go back to the two ends that we left off from the original lace. Just gonna knot those down nice and tight. Again, we don't want any extra lace pulling through. So there's my little knot there as it goes through. And I wanna tie that as close to the T as I can, because again, I don't want any excess lace there. I don't want anything loosening up from behind. So make that knot, give it a little snip. And we'll just melt down that end because we don't want it to fray. And again, when you're using the lighter and you're using your fingertips to pinch those ends, just please be careful. So same thing down this side, we're gonna, we're gonna pull as much through as we can. A little lower, Dana, thank you. So tie that knot down, give it a snip. And again, we don't want to see any of those knots coming through, so I'm just going to use the pliers just to kind of shove that in there. Like I said in my previous video, I always I like to try to hide my work as best as I can. I don't want anyone to really know where it stops or starts. I just want it to look like the glove looked originally. So once we've got that done, 
it's just time to uh, pull the rest through. So now we're going tight. I don't need to be inside the glove. I don't need to be threading anything else. We're all done with the lacing. So now it's time to get this down. Want to make sure everything's held together nice and snug. Just give it a little extra with the pliers just to eliminate any, any additional. And again, I do like to pay a little extra attention to when we have to go through the T because um, if, if you're not careful, sometimes you, you will end up leaving a, a little bit extra. But there's a look there. I hope you all enjoy these videos as, as much as I enjoy making them. It's a lot of fun. Doing repairs like this is just little breaks in my day. It's little extra fun things I get to do. Restore some older goalie equipment. And if you do like them, please make sure to like and subscribe. It just helps other people find my videos a little bit easier. It gets it a little more exposure and it'll help the page. All right, and now we are almost to the end. Get that pulled through nice and tight. One last knot to tie off. I always try to get the knot as close to the T as I can. Again, we're just trying to make sure there's no extra lace pulling through and loosening up the perimeter lace itself. One last snip. Again, we're just going to use the pliers just tuck that little knot inside where no one is going to see it and that's your part two of the perimeter lace the finger side hopefully that helps anyone who wants to try and do in that themselves again I hope you enjoyed the video I sure like doing them thanks for watching We'll see you next time.